For countless millennia, humans have walked the earth, leaving their indelible mark on the planet. Yet, our presence hasn't always had a net positive effect on the world we inhabit. Today, I invite you on a captivating journey as we delve into the breathtaking realm of human evolution. Brace yourself for an extraordinary revelation. Scientists have just unearthed a new human species. But that's not all. This remarkable discovery challenges everything we thought we knew about our origins. Join me as we explore the riveting story of this newly found human species that has ignited a firestorm of excitement among scientists worldwide. We often think of ourselves as Homo sapiens, the species to which present-day humans belong. However, the story of how Homo sapiens came to be is not widely known. Our evolutionary journey traces back millions of years to a humble beginning, a single step, or rather, the capacity to walk on two legs. Sahelanthropus, one of our earliest known ancestors, embarked on this transformative path over six million years ago. But it would be another five million years before Homo sapiens graced the Earth. During this extended period, various human species lived, evolved, and eventually vanished, intermingling and occasionally interbreeding along the way. As they walked their unique paths, these ancient humans witnessed incredible changes in their bodies, brains, and capabilities. The evidence of their existence lies in the ancient bones and stone tools that scientists are painstakingly unearthing. By studying these remnants, delving into our genes, and recreating the dynamic environments that shaped our ancestors, we gain insights into how Homo sapiens evolved from older lineages of hominins, our closest extinct relatives and ancestors. The evidence overwhelmingly points to Africa as the birthplace of Homo sapiens. However, pinpointing an exact time and place of origin is challenging. Instead, it appears that different groups of human ancestors evolved physically and culturally in relative isolation until climate-driven changes in African terrain compelled them to occasionally mix and trade genes, tools, and ideas. Over time, this intricate dance of exchange and adaptation gave rise to the distinct genetic makeup of modern humans. Loving the video or learning something new? Smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content you won't want to miss. Surprisingly, it is our genes, rather than fossils, that serve as the breadcrumbs guiding us through the migrations, movements, and evolution of our species and those from which we descended. The oldest recovered DNA of an early human ancestor was discovered in Spain's Cima de los Huesos, also known as the Pit of Bones. Thousands of teeth and bones from 28 different individuals were unearthed, dating back 430,000 years. This groundbreaking discovery revealed that the individuals in the pit were the oldest known Neanderthals, our closest and most familiar relatives. It is believed that a common ancestor of modern humans, Neanderthals and Denisovans, a mysterious hominid species that left significant traces in our DNA, existed between 500,000 and 750,000 years ago. However, the identity of this common ancestor remains unclear. One strong contender is Homo heidelbergensis, a species that lived between 200,000 and 700,000 years ago. The African lineage of this species appears to lead to Homo sapiens, while the European branch led to Neanderthals and Denisovans. Unfortunately, finding more ancient DNA is not guaranteed, as the cold, dry, and stable conditions necessary for long-term preservation are atypical in Africa. Fossils often present a mix of modern and primitive traits, with different traits evolving inconsistently towards our current anatomy. Certain traits seem to have developed in various places and eras, giving rise to humans with diverse appearances. The bones of five individuals discovered in Jebel Irhud exhibit a mix of modern and archaic features, a modern-looking face coupled with signs of more archaic humans. The presence of human remains in the northwestern region of Africa signifies the widespread distribution of humans across the continent, even in its early history. Other significant Homo sapiens fossils have been found in Floresbad, South Africa, dating back around 260,000 years, and the Kibish Formation along Ethiopia's Omo River, approximately 195,000 years old. The 160,000-year-old skulls of two adults and a child discovered in Herto, Ethiopia, 
exhibit small morphological variations but bear a striking resemblance to modern humans. Similarly, a 120,000-year-old Homo sapiens skull found in Engobo, Tanzania, displays a blend of archaic and contemporary traits. With such variations among fossil remains, researchers frequently disagree on which ones constitute modern humans. Some attempt to simplify the classification by grouping them all together into a single heterogeneous group. It was around 195,000 years ago that fossils first displayed the complete set of characteristics associated with modern humans. The Omo Kibish skull from Ethiopia resembles a contemporary human, while another skull recovered in Nigeria's Iwo Eleru cave appears highly archaic despite being only 13,000 years old. This non-linear progression suggests that the emergence of modern humans was a complex and multifaceted process. Throughout our history, our ancestors relied on tools for survival. Stone tools have been in use since 3.3 million years ago, and by 1.75 million years ago, our ancestors had adopted the Acheulean culture, characterized by hefty hand axes and cutting instruments. As our forefathers developed a more sophisticated anatomy, their tools evolved alongside them. Around 300,000 years ago, humans began crafting finely flaked implements attaching them to handles and spear shafts to enhance their hunting prowess. Projectile points, such as those discovered in southern Kenya, dating back 298,000 to 320,000 years ago, revolutionized hunting by enabling humans to kill elusive and dangerous animals with ease. These advancements in tool technology emerged in various places and times, suggesting the presence of distinct groups of people who independently developed or shared these innovations. Archaeological excavations in Israel's Nesher Ramla site have yielded a skull that could represent a late surviving specimen of a distinct Homo population that inhabited the region between 420,000 and 120,000 years ago. This early human group interacted and interbred with surrounding Homo sapiens groups for thousands of years. The remains discovered at this site shed light on the cultural and genetic exchanges that took place between different Homo populations, challenging our understanding of human diversity and interconnectedness. The exploration of human evolution doesn't stop there. Scientists have recently made a remarkable discovery on the Indonesian island of Flores, a smaller ancient human species dubbed Hobbit or Homo floresiensis. These individuals existed until approximately 50,000 years ago, but their relationship to modern humans remains a mystery. They do not appear to be closely related to present-day humans, including the Rampasasa pygmy population living in the same region today. In the midst of these fascinating discoveries, scientists recently stumbled upon an astonishing find a nearly complete cranium known as the Dragon Man, or Homo Longi. Discovered in Harbin, China, the skull challenges the conventional understanding of human origins. Its distinct features and size place it on a new branch of the human family tree, closely related to other intriguing human remains found in Asia from the same time period. However, experts are divided on whether the Dragon Man represents a distinct species or is connected to other known hominins, such as Denisovans. The Dragon Man's cranium showcases a unique blend of ancient and modern traits. Its enlarged cranium, hefty brow bone, and other distinctive features raise fascinating questions about our ancestral heritage. While some scientists believe the Dragon Man is a new species closely related to Homo sapiens, others suggest links to enigmatic hominins like Denisovans. The debates surrounding the Dragon Man underscore the complexity of human evolution and the challenges of classifying and understanding our diverse ancestors. Moreover, the recent discovery of ancient remains at the Nesher Ramla site in Israel adds another layer of intrigue to the human story. These fossils, dating back 420,000 to 120,000 years, represent a previously unknown Homo population that interacted and interbred with surrounding Homo sapiens groups. The coexistence and cultural exchange between these distinct human groups challenge our traditional understanding of human origins and diversity. As we journey through the annals of human evolution, we encounter numerous mysteries waiting to be unraveled. 
Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding our intricate past and the complex web of relationships between different human species. While these findings may complicate the narrative of our origin, they also provide invaluable insights into the incredible diversity and interconnectedness of our ancient ancestors. The study of human evolution is an ongoing exploration, and as new discoveries emerge, the story continues to unfold. The Dragon Man, the Nesher Ramla fossils, and other groundbreaking finds serve as reminders that nature rarely conforms to our tidy classifications. It is through the collective efforts of scientists, researchers, and curious minds that we piece together the captivating saga of our origins. So, what do you make of these newly discovered human species? How do they reshape our understanding of human evolution? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content about science and the universe. Thanks for watching.